So we run after money, there's nothing wrong. The money that we earn, the good money, that we earn in a clean way, not through, not through bad way, not through bad intention, or destroying, or cheating, or whatever you can call it. So let's do that, that we work hard to earn, but not in the account of our family, not in the account of our country, not in the account of even the country we stay or we live, not in the account of the society that we serve, not in account of, I mean, trying to harm other people. That's the reason. A human being is not a machine, is not a robot. Coronavirus come to change the way medical industry treat people. The pill you put in your mouth and you put in your body that get your immune system to compromise. Remember, when somebody, when you have a cut here, they're going to do stitch. What do they do? They give you an injection, am I right? That compromise, sending in, they neutralize the nerves so that the pain will not reach the brain, am I right? Will not be detected. That's compromising. So when we used to take this vaccination, I'm sorry, this is a fact. I refuse my children to take vaccination since the moment I started hot water therapy. I used to write in writing to the school of Kais and Sam in Oman that I'm taking full responsibility. I don't want my children to have vaccination. And here in the United States, Sammy who is still is in Blacksburg and still in high, Blacksburg High School, I wrote a letter saying, please do not give any vaccination to my child because we are into hot water therapy. We are living a wonderful healthy life and that's why we do everything possible to help the society, to help you. It's your role now. It's your role. Do not underestimate because it's free. Because it's simple, do not underestimate that I spend a lot of time to, to, to bring this to the world, to do this campaign. No. You will sooner or later, you realize this is the rescue of your life. This is holy. Water itself is holy. In any belief, you go to Muslims, they know water is holy. They say, the oceans, the crown of God, was lying on the seabed. In the Christianity, when you look at Jesus Christ, all the story about living water and so on, about the spring water and about, you find it there. You go about Moses, he rescued the Jews by hitting the oceans, split it. It's water. Water is elixir of life as science. So water, you see it colorless, odorless, with the temperature change, it changes everything. With any additive, it changes everything. So this is the time to say, you want to take your medication, that's up to you. I have no right to stop anybody to take medi medication. But nobody should come and force me to take medication. I invite pharmaceutical industry, I say, this is beginning of the end. So start to pull your money slowly, slowly, invest on alternative, so-called the new 21st century healthcare system. You're not gonna lose. It's just put your money, reinvest again. Because the world, I believe after coronavirus, people will start to understand, why should I compromise my immune system to take the pill so that if another coronavirus comes, by the way, this is the fifth. This is the fifth coronavirus. And which attack unhealthy people. And people who are under medical condition, am I right? So why? So, what's the next? Humans becoming more knowledgeable, more than ever before. And a lot of physicians, prominent physicians, doctors, famous, you name them. You can Google that, you'll find them, plenty of them. Even going back to 200 years back. Andrew Taylor Steele. Look at his history. Why did he found the first college of osteopathic medicine? Why? What was his motive? You know, the pain he went through. He revolted from the medical industry and he started to attack that the pharmaceutical industry is all collapse. But here we don't have to attack them. They spent a lot, billions in research and development. Physicians, scientists, they work hard. They work for you. They sacrifice for you. Let's not attack them. Their intention was clean. But it's a change. It's an evolution. We are entering a different world. 
It, the, everything goes through evolution. So let's not attack them. Let's understand that the intention was to cure the world. But because we're entering a new evolution of a new 21st century healthcare system, like what Thomas Edison said about the doctor of the future, he will not use medication. So now we call every, every pharmaceutical industry, every research academy to start to focus on nature healing. And that's the hot water because that's the ex exclusive. There is no anything else. Just the exclusive source of creation and growth of every human being. Without hot water, you are not in this world. And let's add again. When with a hot water, there is no any single living organism will exist in this world. I said that several times in my record. So to make it short, it is the source of creation and growth of every human being. That is the amniotic fluid. So that's the hot water. So with a hot water, you don't exist in this world. The other one is about nature. The hydrologic cycle, the water cycle. We talk about the oceans, the surface, the energy, the heat of the ultraviolet, of the sunshine, strike on the surface of the oceans. That is water. So the moment you get that energy, it starts to evaporate because of the heat, causing that split of the hydrogen and oxygen. That's an evaporation, and the water cycle starts. So imagine if there's no energy, to make that surface of the water to become hot water, then it would just remain there as salty water and nobody could ever drink. And even lakes would not exist, they would just dry out. <laughs> Rivers will dry out. Rivers come from the runoff, it's the runoff. And the lakes are where the rivers, the runoff until they come to form the lake. So the origin of the earth is ocean. And oceans are salty. Are you with me or not? I believe that. I believe that. Let me end this recording and grab my gulp, my hot water. There's a, there are ways of drinking hot water. Is it drinking? One time you may finish the whole glass. Or two times. Gulping, I fill my mouth because the temperature I cannot take to altogether. So I fill my mouth and I swallow. And then sipping when it's too hot. That's why I do not recommend to sip all the time. You may start to sip, but the time temperature drop, then you gulp. Or you may mix with a, a lower temperature water. It could be cold or it could be warm, just to drop the temperature if it's, a, it's too hot. So your mouth, your body has its own mechanism to detect that temperature you can tolerate. When you say 50 degrees Celsius, 122 Fahrenheit for adults, it's just when you can try the first time, you detect it, you say, hmm, okay, I understand now. But after that, you don't need the thermometer. So on with the children. We could see mothers using droplet of milk on the, on the bottle, which is hot milk. They pour those droplet of the milk like this. Oh, the temperature is above my body. Am I right? The feel is above because our body temperature at normal time is what? 36.5 to 37 degrees Celsius. You can convert that to Fahrenheit, which is what? 97 or something? I mean, it's up to you, you can convert that. Right? So it's above our body's temperature. So that's what we, they give the milk to the child, to the baby. That should be the same thing apply with the baby giving hot water. The baby should have a different bottle giving, I mean, make it hot, not warm, eh? I say hot. Warm is the room temperature. Hot. 40 degrees Celsius. Okay, if you don't check with the thermometer, fine, mothers, you know. So you just put some droplets here. It should be a separate bottle, not mixed with the bottle of the milk. So bottle for the milk is separate with the bottle for the hot water. So the babies are given hot water. Believe me, if you give your children, your babies, hot water with a temperature of 40 degrees, and they grow up that way, by the time they reach a maturity, they, you change the temperature, they, uh, gradually to change, until they become adult, they reach 50 degrees, and they follow the therapeutic methods. They follow the big other principle, all that six principles. We're going to see a different world. We're going to see a better world. People are tired staying home. At the moment they, get, they go back to work after this pandemic, they'll feel like they came from jail on one side. But they will understand one thing, the value of social life.
the value of the t- so precious time they spent with their loved one, with their spouses, with their children. And those who don't have children, you have still relative. And those who are alone, still you have the society. You're never alone. Let's get together. Let's embrace one another. Let's make a better world. All of us. It's all of us. I can't do it alone. You can't do it alone. He can do it alone. She can not do it alone. Let's get together. Let's follow this campaign. Let's bring it to everywhere we can. And even to deal with the coronavirus prevention. And who knows? Could be for cure. I don't have any, any anecdotal evidence somebody was cured from coronavirus using hot water. But we have a lot of research. We have three clinical studies that receive in rats using cold water, I mean warm water and hot water with all the symptoms that people are uh, affected with this coronavirus infected. About immune system, inflammation, CVD, cardiovascular diseases. The results are amazing. We have these clinical studies have been conducted. That's why we try hard. We're trying hard. We need your support. It's the people power. People change laws. If there were laws preventing use of any natural, there's no any harm in hot water. Let's get together till we can make government embrace. More community, more people embrace. I love you so much. And any one of you, please uh, advise others to subscribe, advise others to join, and let's join together and share this video. Put information to the best you could, share the information so we could see a better society. The world change when we intend to change means you. It's you, the change. Well, let's not sit aside and say, yeah, I'm waiting, he will do the change, or she will do the change. You are the change, a change for better. And tomorrow, politicians, government, decision makers, they will thank you for your contribution. Not my contribution alone. You, I need you, and we need one another. Thank you so much. I love you, platonic love. Anyone watching this video, I love you. I love you, the love of the Lord to you. You are unique. You are unique. And stay unique as you are. This is the time to understand that we need to come together and extend our hands and hug one another the hug my means of like blood, like brothers and sisters, brothers and brothers, sisters and sisters, community. Because I always remember these three factors that unite us all. The first, the first source of creation. You came from the first family and I came from that first family. You call them who? Adam and Eve. Whatever the name you give, but they're still the same, one family. That's yours, that's mine. Number two, body composition. The same, one nose, you have one nose. Two eyes, you have two eyes. One mouth, you have two mouth. Two hands, you have two hands. One heart, you have two, one heart. Okay. So same body composition. Number three, the dream, the ambition. Tell me who doesn't have a dream to become better? You want to be better? You want to be rich? You want to be scientist or whoever? A new passion, a new expertise. Everyone is unique. Everyone is unique. That's it. Excuse me. That's your dream. And you can be who you want to be. Because you were meant to be that way. Till the time when you leave this world, you remember, you will leave your name engraved, engraved in the stone of history. That you have left a legacy. History will credit you forever. And always your generations, the superseded generations, will always remember you have contributed, you have done great. So let's do it for today, for ourselves, for our children, for our brothers, for our sisters, for our community, for our country, for this world. And let live, let us all leave our name engraved in the stone of history. Take care. I love you again. Platonic love.
glad to be in this place and this is one of the conference rooms of the VTCLC so this one is located in the same building where our office is located and uh, I, I like this one because of the overlooking the, the beautiful lake, the lake view so it's very nice to meditate spending some good time to meditate and uh, yeah so the place is beautiful it's a very nice place and uh, it's well organized that's the reason why Virginia Tech Corporate Research Center has won uh, the, the international award-winning research park so let me give us a, a look here of this beautiful beautiful location <laughs> 